So you're looking for day trips outside of New York City. Today, I'm talking to you about the top things that you should do while visiting Beacon, New York. City of Beacon is a popular Hudson Valley day trip and a weekend getaway for anyone out of New York and the surrounding areas. Beacon is located right on the Hudson River and is easily accessible by major highways. It even has a Metro North train station with daily service from early morning to late night. It takes about one and a half hours from New York City and costs between $35 and $46 a round trip. If you do take the train, make sure to check out Long Dock Park. It's located on the right-hand side of the Beacon train station and offers amazing views of the Hudson River. You can walk around, have lunch, or even have some hiking via attached trails. Don't miss out on Long Dock Park, it's a bit of a hidden gem. When you make it into town, Main Street is where you want to be. It's considered to be one of the liveliest places in the Hudson Valley, and it's full of restaurants, bars, boutique shops, museums, galleries, and more. There are tons of places to check out when it comes to food and drink in Beacon. If you want me to make the best Beacon food review, make sure to comment down below and let me know. Speaking about the best of, you need to take Main Street all the way down to Beacon Falls. This is a pretty waterfall located on the east end of Main Street. The falls are easy to see from the road with parking spaces right next to them. You can even visit some of the restaurants on Main Street that provide beautiful views of the falls as well but be prepared for very high prices. Beacon Falls has a perfect backdrop over towering Mount Beacon which is the next place you should visit. The summit at Mount Beacon has absolutely spectacular views of Beacon, Hudson River, and the surrounding areas. You can see all three bridges, and some say it's the best views in the Hudson Valley. Now, the hike to the summit is not easy. I'm nowhere near a pro hiker, but I would rate this a 7 out of 10 difficulty. It can be steep at times with lots of rocky surfaces. Make sure to wear proper shoes, bring lots of water, and be prepared for a real hike. It took me over one and a half hours to reach the summit. From there, you can push even further, another 30 minutes to get up to the absolute highest point where you will find a fire tower. Views from this tower are incredible and something you need to see. I will leave links to everything in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.